Slipper versus Flip-Flop The biggest difference between the two types of footwear is that flip-flops are really designed for outdoor wear and slippers should really be reserved for indoor use. So, let's get started. Number 1. The History of Flip-Flops Flip-flops are usually characterized by the toe post that slips between the first and second toes of the foot and the open-backed, flexible sole that, when you walk, makes the characteristic flippy sound that gives them their name. They are some of the most lightweight footwear choices available and popular with men, women, and kids alike. They are great for the beach, the pool and casual summer gatherings. They are also often some of the cheapest footwear choices out there, as, as most people know, it's the rare dollar store that does not have shelves full of flip-flops in the summer. Number 2. The History of Slippers Slippers have a long and varied history. They have been around for thousands of years in one form or another and feature in the histories of most nations, both in the East and the West. Centuries ago slippers were often only reserved for wear by the wealthiest people, and the slippers of the Middle and Renaissance ages were often hugely lavish affairs crafted from the finest silks and brocades with soft leather soles crafted from the best animal hides money could buy. Number 3. The problem with flip-flops indoors. Given that they are usually lightweight and often very cheap, some people may ask why invest in more expensive slippers when you can just wear flip-flops instead. Well, you certainly can if you wish, but there are a number of reasons why you might not want to. Number 4. Health reasons for opting for slippers. According to a study conducted by the Departments of Microbiology and Environmental Sciences at the University of Arizona that studied the bacteria on the bottom of shoes, 93% of them will contain dangerous bacteria, including E. coli and fecal matter, yuck, on the bottom of them after just a month of regular wear, even if you actually never knowingly tread in something nasty. Number 5. Can a slipper be a flip-flop? The good news is that an increasing number of shoe designers are realizing that there are indeed folks out there who prefer the look and styling of a flip-flop and a slipper, and are creating just that. These slippers should not, however, ever really be worn outside. Or any slippers come to that matter. The very soft soles of most slippers are just not designed to stand up to outdoor walking. Not only do they get very dirty very quickly, but if you happen to encounter a sharp stone, piece of glass or other jagged objects, the chances that it will be able to pierce the sole and injure you are pretty high, 